Hi, thank you for joining us in this lesson. And we have the pleasure to guide you toward the progress of all library classes as well as to acquire the best practices. In this lecture, we're gonna continue using Volley library classes, particularly those that query exam server with the get method. The project that we're gonna build is spread over several lectures. It consists in building an Android app that requests data from MySQL database through programs written in PHP language. This app allows you to retrieve the rating restaurant of a given client number. So, how does this app work? First, from Android device, we enter the client number, then, when we hit the button Get Client Rate, an HTTP GET request is submitted to exam server. After that, in the server side, the server processes the request using PHP language and MySQL database and returns the data in JSON format. And finally, the result is displayed in Android device. For example, when we enter the client 100 and hit the button Get Client Rate, this is gonna make a request using get method to exam server. Next, the server processes the request and returns the rating information of this client. After that, this information is displayed in Android device. So, this project involves taking the following steps. In the step one, and by using PHP my admin, we create a database, a table, and add some data. For the step two, we create a PHP file that processes the user request with get method and returns the related data in JSON format. Regarding step three and four, they consist in building the app. For the step three, we create the user interface. And step four, it consists in typing code that make a request to the server and receive a response from it. Step one, using PHP my admin tool. Before to use any database, we need to start my SQL. So, go ahead to exam control panel and hit the button start right off my SQL. The tool that allows you to manipulate my SQL database is called PHP my admin. To launch it, Hit the button admin that is located in the same line as my SQL. The PHP my admin home page is displayed. To create a table, we need first to create a database. So, to create a database, hit the menu database and type the database name. For example, DB restaurant. Then, click the button create. Next, when you select the database DB restaurant, a new screen is opened in order to create a table. The table to create is rating restaurant. It has five columns. The columns client number, food quality, service quality, and service speed take the values one to four. One for excellent, two good, three average, and for dissatisfied. However, the column recommend takes the value one or zero. One recommend to this restaurant and zero don't recommend it. We enter the table name, rating restaurant, and five for the total number of columns. Then hit the button go. After that, a screen of columns characteristics is displayed. First, we enter the column client number, select the type int, and enter the length 4. Now, when we assign to this column a primary key constraint, a model window is displayed. Click the button go to add the index. 
Next, enter the column food quality, select the type int, and enter the length 1. Repeat the same thing for the columns service quality, service speed, and recommend. Then, click the button save to save the table. The table rating restaurant is created successfully. To add the following rows, go ahead and click the menu insert and enter these rows. To check the content of this table, select the menu SQL and type select star from rating restaurant. Then click the button go. Great! The step 1 is done successfully. Let's move to the next step.